Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how I'm using my Xbox 360 controller as a secondary controller for the PS4. This is Remote Play and it's looking for a DualShock controller which is not connected. So I am going to start my 360 controller and it's not being detected by the software. Uh, the next step will be to launch a software called BDX, which is part of the um, BGEM project, and I will put a link in the description below. I'm running the software, and uh, it will show you that I have a controller connected, the 360 controller. There it is. And I'm now going to select an emulation type, which gives me only the DualShock 4 controller. And as soon as I hit connect, the remote play software detects a DualShock 4 controller and allows me to use it as a more DualShock 4 controller. So I'm going to hit the start button, which would map to the options button on the DualShock. It's now connecting to my PlayStation 4, which is in rest mode. So we're waiting for it to turn on and show up on our screen. And here I am now connected to my PlayStation 4. You can see it detected me as myself. And I'm zooming out a little bit. Sorry for the quality of the video because I'm recording this at night. This is the 360 controller and I'm operating it with my fingers, which is really hard because I'm using the camera and at the same time the controller. So I am moving the left stick. So the next step for me is to um, activate the PlayStation 4 controller, which is the original controller paired with the PS4. I'm pressing the PlayStation button and as you can see it's asking me to log in. Now I am already logged in as player 1 using the remote play and so I'm going to click on new user and I'm going to select the guest. I could select also a user that I configured on my PlayStation but for the demo of this video, it's going to be a guest. It's asking me to sign into my uh, uh, or into the PlayStation Network. I don't want to sign in, so I'm clicking Do Not Sign In. And now I'm connected as guest using the second controller. Now, in the next step, I'm going to launch a game called Crimson Land. And Crimson Land allows me to be up to four players. And uh, I'm going to try to operate this again with one hand because I'm recording this with my iPhone at night. So I don't really see much. Um, here's Crimson Land. So I'm going to hit. Uh, A, which maps to the X button on the DualShock. There I am, clicking A. And it's launching Crimson Land, which is a really great game. Now, because I'm logged in as a guest, it asked me again that I should sign into the PlayStation Network to use network features. I don't want to do that, but I also didn't realize here I should be doing this on the DualShock controller because it's the second controller now. Yeah, so I'm picking up the DualShock and I'm hitting the circle. And I'm picking up the 360 controller again. I'm going to press the A button to get into the game. And I apologize for the quality of the video because this is really hard to operate at night and also with one hand. 
And here's Crimson Land, so I'm going to click play. I'm going to select a quest. Um, I am currently on Grim difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty in the game. And uh, here I am in the last level. As you can see, I'm getting owned right now by the uh, monsters. Uh, but it, the game prompts me to press fire on the secondary controller to join the game and I just did that and as you can see there is another player on screen now and it's circled in red which kind of matches the um, red color on my PS4 controller yeah well again this is really hard to do at night um, but this is a proof of concept video and so here you can see both controllers active uh, I'm not kidding I am not faking this video this works and you can find in the description the link to another video his name is Mamadou Banania and uh, if you follow his video and download the drivers from the VGEM website then uh, you will be able to accomplish the same thing. Thank you for watching.